Hey guys, so uh, it's just uh, me, Craig, reporting here. I'm, you know, about the NHL lockout. I'm a little tired of hearing the players consistently complain about the fact, you know, oh, apparently we're not getting enough money. We feel we need a little more. You know, oh, you know, 57% isn't enough for us. I know they want to lower it. I know they want to get it down, you know, 52, 54%. Honestly, I'm gonna be, that's not really a huge difference. We're talking about a $1 billion difference here. The fact that the players still want above 50%, you know, plus the salary they already make, which, you know, considering Alex Ovechkin, honestly, that's a little ridiculous. Ovechkin makes 9.5 mil a year plus, you know, about $7.5 million in bonuses. So he makes about, you know, 17 mil a year. Looking at that, comparing it to someone like uh, Shea Weber this year alone, if there was going to be an NHL season this year alone, he would make somewhere around $24 million a year. Or just for this year, I apologize for that. Anyway, um, I'm just tired of hearing the players consistently complain and complain and complain about the fact they're not making enough money. Are you kidding me? You know, I mean, I'm a hockey player myself. You know, I, I, the ultimate goal is to, you know, one day for me, and that's the dream. That is the, obviously the dream, is to go play in the NHL. But for me, it's just... It's, it's a little frustrating, honestly, you know. Um, the fact that these guys are making the seven-digit number and sometimes even the ten-digit, you know, the eight-digit number. It's really radical, you know. It's, it's not good for the NHL. It sets a bad message home to the young kids. It's kind of like saying, hey, you know, why don't you just whine and complain have someone fight your battle for you, like Donald Fair, for example, for the Players Association, which is complete work to crap as far as I'm concerned, versus, you know, Gary Bettman, who I think is complete and total retard. You know, Gary Bettman has ruined hockey. I, I understand that. I know a lot of people are going to be asking me about that. You know, what do you think of Gary Bettman? I've been asked that question before. I think, honestly, he's ruined the game of hockey. He's taken it away from uh, from myself, who I thought was, uh, you know, I love the sport. I love it with all my heart. Diehard fan, you know. Um, the only thing on for me is NFL. And to be honest, the referees there ain't doing that great. So, honestly, there's not really much sports to watch. Um, you know, I'm going to say this once uh, for the last time. I wish just the players would stop complaining about the fact that they're not getting enough money. And I'm also going to say something about the owners. Yeah, you know, you guys make great revenues as well from the NHL. Why would you guys complain? Why do you have any right to complain? You guys, if not, make more money than the players do. As far as I'm concerned, the owner is going to make the most revenue from this team being the owner. And it's honestly, it's a little bit frustrating because you look at it and just, the salary is absolutely incredible. I mean, I would love to make that salary. I guarantee you anyone would love to make that salary, you know. And I agree with Corey Schneider. I mean, I love his saying, you know, if I would ever complain, I told my girlfriend to slap me in the face, you know, because people would kill me in the NHL. And, you know, that obviously is important to him. And he's right. People would kill to be in the NHL for the salary they make <laughs> just alone, you know. And um, the only people I think that really don't benefit – as much as the NHL is going to say the players don't benefit, the teams don't benefit, you know, whatever. The people who don't benefit the most are the fans. The hockey players, they play for the fans. The owners do the best thing they can to keep the team sustainable, sustained, you know, to make the fans happy. I mean, like, you know, in Columbus, they do whatever they can. They're doing the best they can, and it's obviously not working. Um, you know... I think places that really care about the hockey, like Vancouver, for example, or Winnipeg, any places like that, it's important to see that as a market that you can make money off, no matter how bad the team's doing. The people who lose the most here are the fans, guaranteed. It's just wrong, the way, the fact that they think, oh, you know, players, whatever, you know, they, you know, they don't make enough money. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, last I got like you know another two minutes on this thing. I'm just gonna end the conversation with this. Um, you leave me a comment saying you know your ideas. You know, 
uh, give me something new to film about. You know, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, I said I'd get back to you guys after the trade deadline, and I'm sorry I didn't get back to you guys, caught up with homework and stuff like that. Um, you know, just send me a message, and uh, I'll see what I can do for my next video. Um, and I really appreciate you guys with all the support, especially on the Trevor Gillies video. I know that was, uh, I know that's the video with the most views on right now. If you haven't uh, seen my other video, uh, Craig's Biggest Hockey Hits, um, that's the short version. I haven't still uploaded the uh, long version yet. The long version is like five, six minutes long. But um, I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Um, and I really appreciate it. Please drop me any comments you have, anything, nothing offensive, please. Um, and I will uh, get back to you guys in the next few weeks. Okay, see ya.